Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo 7 and we are back with a track guide for this week's Daily Race C and also a setup to try and help you get as fast as you can and try and help you win some races around this new combination because we've never ever raced the reverse layout in Group 4 before. This is a new experience. Also, we've got setups on and we actually have a few extra setup options on in this week's Daily Race C introducing differential into the mix as well which is quite interesting so let's get into this we're going to try and help you get as quick as we we can try and get your lap times as fast as we can and hopefully help you out for your race pace as well now do bear in mind your braking references will be slightly different with the race setup because when you're racing you're on the hard tires because it's hard tire no stop race but in time trial conditions you're pushing the maximum on the medium tire so let's start this lap starting off the final corner try and give yourselves a good exit from that corner and power your way up this main straight so for this version of the track on the reverse layout we're keeping the car to the right hand side as we enter the tunnel and you're going to see as we go through the tunnel here you're going to be looking out for the 100 board above your head there you can just see it approaching there now you're going to just give a tiny dab of brakes just before you see that because that's going to help rotate the car you can see just a minuscule amount just to try and rotate this in a little bit and you can see you want to get as close to the wall use this extra bit of curbing on the left here to give yourself more speed through the apex now you can see straight on the throttle maximum attack now and as soon as you're outside of the tunnel, you can see it's blinded as you come out, but you need to turn to the right and get your right-hand tire over the white line and then get your car to the right-hand side so you can rotate into this really fast left-hand corner. Now, this is a tricky corner. You're gonna see I'm gonna lift off the throttle as we go into the corner, lift off the throttle, then back onto the throttle and then into the braking zone, which we're gonna break in between the 400 and the 300 board there. Just be careful you do not run wide here. It's so easy to do. You can see onto the brakes. Now, down to third gear, Braking for a while in third gear keeps it nice and stable before you go into second gear as well. And again, you want to get this left hand tire up as close as you can to the bollard without hitting it. And again, right hand tire for this exit as close to this bollard again as you can without hitting it. Just a dab of brakes there just to try and slow the car down and then back onto that throttle as you come off the curb. And this left hand corner, you just want to kind of keep it nice and narrow. You can see getting on the brakes the change of colour on the tarmac, pretty much dead on that change of colour and keeping the car all the way to the left hand side here. You want to get this left hand tire to just basically hug the white line through the corner. You can see keeping it narrow, being very, very patient before we put the throttle down. You can see that the reason for that, if you get too early on the throttle, you're going to go straight into the barrier on the right hand side. So just be very patient before you put that throttle down. Now into the next braking zone, we are going to be looking for the 200 board on the right hand side. Now you're going to break ever so fractionally past that 200 board that you can see there. So just as we approach it, we're going to break just past that 200 board there onto the brakes. Now we're going to go down to third gear and we're going to try and again keep kind of a narrow line into this corner. So you can see the trail braking going in there and then as you come off the brakes you're going to slowly wait for the, pay, the throttle to go down. Now be patient on that, don't be too early because you will understeer too much. Now I was maybe a little bit too aggressive because you can see from here at this point I would have rather have came from a wider angle than what I'm doing now. But we get on the brakes, just a little dab of brakes there and then down to second gear onto the throttle but we're having to be very patient you can see we're keeping the car very close at right the white line on the right hand side but being very patient before we put that throttle down because the tighter angle that i've come into there but i've managed to do quite a good exit and now into the next braking zone we're going to use that 200 board again and we're going to break ever so slightly past it yet again so you can see now onto the brakes just as we pass that um, 200 board and we want to try and get this car squared off as we enter into this corner so turning and right hand tire wants to clip the almost clipping the sound on the right hand side and just slowly feed the power in because it's very easy to snap the rear at this point now from here you're going to get the car to flick to the right then to the left and just a little lift off the throttle then back onto the throttle then upshift to third gear and then just get the car in a straight line and you're going to start attacking this left hand corner now this again is all about just getting as much track limits as you can so left hand tire onto the sand right hand tire needs to stay over that white line if you go too much off that's a penalty through there and again as soon as we're past that point we're onto the brakes way before the yellow line and we're going to try and slow the car down a little bit there not too much it's just a bit of weight transfer that's all we're doing and again left hand tire cannot go over this white line if you go over that white line you're invalidating your lap time now we're going to get on that throttle really aggressive through here if you need to upshift short shift to fourth gear to stop it on the steering just do that 
and into the next breaking zone. We're breaking in between the 100 and the 200 board, right in the middle there. Now, this is a tricky corner. There's so many different lines you can take for this. I choose to go for kind of a middle of the track and then take a later apex. You can see getting onto the apex now and then onto the throttle. A little bit of movement on the rear there. Probably lost me a fraction of time there as I put the power down, but got away with that as we work our way up the hill now, which is completely flat out. No lifting at all in this section of track. So just trying to keep that steering inputs nice and smooth as you go through these corners and then you're coming into the final braking zone which we're going to look for the 200 again 200 board there on the right side and we're going to break again fractionally past that 200 ball so just as we go past it onto the brakes and we're going to again you want to take kind of a narrow line but you want to get into the middle of the track to get before you turn in so turning in into the middle of the track now we're going to start getting the car squared off and then onto the throttle early and your left hand tire just wants to clip the white line as you're getting on the power to just straighten it up onto this main straight up into third gear nice and early there and now powering our way to the finishing line it's quite a tricky corner that there is different lines you can do for that final corner and there's different ways of doing it to get you know advantage or losing time it's quite a tricky one to get right so let's have a little look at the setup that we use for that so for the for the time trial setup we use 10 on the rear anti roll bar. For the race, I've been moving that down to nine because we're on hard tires. You might want to adjust some of the other stuff on the rear to be a little less aggressive if you're on the hard tires also. But I've gone with that just with nine on the rear for the hard tire and it seems to be working pretty well. So yeah, if you want to give that a go, it's very much a base setup. It's not been pushed too much. We don't really, you know, we haven't altered massive amounts yet, but it feels reasonably good. And it's good enough to get us to P3 in the world on the leadboard when we set the lap time. So definitely a solid setup. Hopefully it will help you out. Let's have a watch of that lap anyway from the chase camera with kilometers an hour on so you can see it on the different miles, you know, obviously the different um, speed reference and from the chase camera as well from without any slowing down. So again, through this section, you can see how we've been very, very cautious that we don't run too far wide on that exit there because it's so easy to get that wrong. And again, very cautious. So we don't hit the bollards on that corner because if you, on the chicane there, hit the bollards, your lap is invalidated. So just be cautious on the exit there as well. We had quite a bit of space to play with, but you have to be cautious because it, it goes wide and then goes narrower as you come out the exit. You have to be very cautious you don't hit into the barrier on the right hand side. Again, this corner, you're going to see how I meant, went a little bit too aggressive in and I kind of narrowed my line in. But what we did do well was keep it very close to that white line and got on the throttle quite aggressively. So maybe only lost a fraction of a uh, you know, half a tenth there, maybe you know a tenth at most. Into this corner, it's all about being patient on the throttle. You can see just being patient before we get aggressive. Again, get that left hand tire over the white line. Same left hand tire over the white line. Now your right hand tire over the white line. Just be cautious, don't take too much off any of them three corners because again, invalidated lap if you do. Now into next braking zone, braking past the 200, in between the 200 and 100. And again, you can see this corner again has multiple different lines. I feel like we got that okay, but a little bit of a loose rear as we came out of the corner, lost me a bit of time there as I tried to get a bit aggressive on the throttle. So maybe could have took a slightly wider line and got on that throttle in a better, more straightened up line. So into the final corner now, we're looking for that 200 board on the right hand side. And again, just keeping the car quite narrow for you. You can see how we're taking kind of a narrow line onto that throttle aggressively. And just be careful you don't run wide on the exit and lose a bit of momentum by running onto the ground, onto the sand on the right hand side. So over line, again, yeah, 154.2, I think it is. It's a good lap, it's pretty solid. Hopefully it'll help you improve your lap and hopefully the setup will help you improve also. Do remember to subscribe, hit that like button and let me know in the comment section if it's helped you out and I'll be back with more of these in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone.